Listeria species include enteric pathogens, such as Listeria monocytogenes, that may contaminate foods such as cheese and sauerkraut. When Listeria enters the digestive tract, the immune system mounts an attack. Macrophages engulf the bacteria by phagocytosis. The internalized vesicle is called a phagosome. Normally, a phagocytosed bacterium would be digested by the macrophage, but Listeria releases a toxin that lyses the phagosomal membrane, allowing the bacterium to move freely throughout the cytoplasm. Inside the cell, bacteria have a rich medium for growth and reproduce quickly, and because they are hidden inside the cell, they can evade the antibodies of the immune system. Shortly after entry into the cytoplasm, Listeria bacteria begin to nucleate actin filaments. Eventually, actin tails develop, and the polymerization of the filaments pushes the bacteria through the cytoplasm. The growth of the actin filaments occurs at the interface where the filaments meet the bacterial surface. With the addition of new actin monomers, the filaments get longer and force the cell forward. Caps restrict the continued growth of filaments that are no longer pushing the bacterium. The network of filaments itself remains stationary, although it is continually broken down, releasing actin monomers that can be used for new filament growth at the bacterial surface. The growth of the actin tails can force a bacterium into the plasma membrane, creating a protrusion that a neighboring cell can take up by phagocytosis. The new cell is now a host to Listeria and continues the infection. This video shows Listeria bacteria dividing in and being propelled through the cytoplasm of a mammalian kidney cell. The events in the video are shown about 100 times faster than real time.